All right, so now let's go ahead and make a copy of this too, because I'm a bit of a copy junkie. It just you know, it allows me to feel better about what I'm doing. Uh, but, you know, since we are working on the the uh, singular layer, but remember, if all else fails, you can desaturate this and keep pressing forward. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go with a, a bit of a grayish blue uh, for the armor or chest plate, I should say. And let's go ahead and put this back to color. Let's brush that in. And that's a bit too much. Let me take that to more of a lighter version, hopefully. And it's still too blue. Yeah, maybe something like that. Now, I don't mind it being in the middle of the row, uh, you know, medium of what I'm looking for. I just don't like it to be overly saturated. And I guess this is all subjective. You might look at this and say, well, it's extremely saturated. Uh, but if it's in the middle, I can work, uh, you know, darker and lighter and saturated and less, sat you know, more saturated, less saturated, things like that. But I do basically just want to get some ideas in place of, you know, what I'm looking for here. So something like that. Um, I also want to see a little bit more of a golden yellow. In this character, I always think that's fun uh, for like armor and designs and things. So I want to get some of that in there. Maybe even this uh, this fur is kind of a golden yellow. That's a bit too much as well. Let me bring that back. And even a little more. So you see I'm just kind of moving that slider around here and there. Uh, yeah, something like that. Just to kind of get close, again, more in the middle or medium of what I'm looking for. So I'm still going to add some highlights, I'm still going to shift things around a bit. Some shadows, some highlights, desaturation, back and forth. And you see, you could really just paint this from a distance. I think I want this eye thing to be that same golden yellow. Um, you can really just paint this from a distance and uh, be okay with it. It doesn't have to be perfection. It, the, the beauty of this, if you're working with a customer, is you could really show color variations like this, you know, again, from a distance, from a, a quick representation. And then if they like it, you can press forward. So you can, you know, tighten it up and get in there and really detail the work. So I'm liking a lot of these little gold accents. I'm going to put that in there. And I think for the uh, the helmet pieces, some of this other stuff, I want a little bit more of a, hopefully like a bone-like color. Uh, you know what, actually while I'm here though, I think I'm going to trim this out in gold as well. So I, I think it's important to like sit there and try to figure out little areas that can be trimmed and accented uh, to go with whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to add the trim around these pieces like that. I think that's kind of kind of neat, maybe in the underneath material, something like that. And then, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for this, this bone-like color. So it's going to be even, you know, more yellowish white. Or even a little less yellow than that. I can press real light here and that should give us closer to a bone-like color. So I think that's neat for things like the spikes, the horns on the helmet, things like that. Okay, so there's that. And let's see, I'm thinking for the, uh, the skirting area, whatever this would be called, uh, something, I'm gonna try to sample. So notice I just held Alt and I sampled from some of the blue from the chest plate. And I'm just going to try to bring that down into here a bit. See if that works or not. So basically like blue, gold, you know, browns. That's probably about it. And I could probably use a little bit of this blue highlight color just for some of the reflectivity of the uh, spiked ball there. And the axe head's going to stay gray. 
So now we've got a pretty good like base color all throughout. There's a few areas that are lacking color. I guess this um, shoulder piece, or I'm sorry, forearm guard. But really, that could be a gray. I think. I think the handle for the axe could probably be have some brown in there. So we'll just do that. Again, I just sampled from what's here. So I'm just holding all and sampling what's there. And what's kind of neat about that is the more you paint, the more you can just sample from your existing painting. And again, I'm gonna say that I think that that's really the way to, to utilize this effect. Even though you're painting over grayscale, there's only it feels like there's only so much you can do. You can do a lot, but I always feel like at the end of it, you just need to paint on the very top. Um, if you're trying to really refine it, I'm not going to take this to a you know extreme level of refinement because it just you know takes a lot longer for that type of uh, explanation. But um, but we're going to get pretty close. So what's going to happen here next is I want to take and develop a little bit more of a light source. So I'm going to take a bit of uh, golden yellow, something like this, and I'm going to now set this to something like add glow. Let me kind of test it out. That's extremely bright, so we'll use it very sparingly. But what I want to do here is just kind of hit those edges. Okay, so I want to, me personally, I want to be really careful of going into the character and doing stuff like this. Okay, it's real easy to want to do that, and it really rounds them out, but it's, it just takes away from the painting a lot of times. You got to be very careful the way that you use your light source. So in this particular instance, I'm just using uh, what's called rim light or edge light. And so that'll be a pretty strong light. You see I've already defined it on the leg here. I can get some of this onto the uh, very edge of the fur here and then have it dissipate. So I'll just hit a few more little strands and then leave it alone. Because again, it's very easy to go, well, wouldn't it look cool all through here? It probably would, but it's it's not going to read well. It's it's very, I don't know, light's very tricky in the way that you use it. Your light source is very powerful, so you have to be very specific and careful about it, I think. So less is more sometimes. So I'm just going to try to implement some of it. And then, uh, if anything, I'll, I'll do some of it and then come back to it. So that I, you know, kind of guard myself from overdoing things. Maybe just a little bit of light here. I'm kind of picturing that the leg's blocking some of this. So I'm just going to put a very little bit here and there, not much. A little, maybe a little tiny bit on the edge here. Just because I want to bring out that detail a little bit. So light uh, not only rounds out your form, it's also an extremely good way to convey a focal point. Um, and forgive me if that's redundant. I think I might have already mentioned that in these lessons, but I want to mention it again. It's just a, it's, it's kind of the way it works. So whether it might be, uh, you know, light, um, dark areas, uh, pretty much anything in extreme. So contrast, saturation, anything in an extreme way can really become a focal point and it can make you you know, your viewer, look at the part of the design, the art that you want them to look at. So just be aware of that, that it's uh, it's very easy to utilize that, but it also works better if it's used uh, sparingly. So if it's, it's o if it's overused all throughout the piece, it actually works in the opposite. It becomes distracting, uh, and then, you know, you lose that, that potential ability to um, direct the viewer. A couple little light sources up on the helmet. Bring out some of the, uh, the details of this spike, so on and so forth. So, yeah, again, just trying to little bits here and there, but fighting the urge to. Uh, go all throughout the design with this. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more light source, and now what I want to do is, you know, shade a little bit more of the character and also pull away from a lot of the saturation that we have. So what we're going to do is let's stop right here. We'll head over to the next lesson, 
Again, we're going to introduce a little bit of contrast here and there and shadow, uh, and then we're going to bump back the saturation. So with that, let's move on to our next lesson.